January 7, 1904. My name is Helga Deutsch and I am from Hamburg, Germany. I am going to America with my older sister who is 14 named Irma and my older brother who is 15 named Kurt and my mama and papa. I am very upset that I am leaving Germany because I am leaving my best friend Elsa and my grandparents. My parents say they will find better jobs by going to America. My papa doesn't have a good job in my hometown. He is a farmer and there hasn't been a lot of rain in Hamburg, so his crops aren't growing. He also doesn't get a lot of money from the stores that sell his crops. Even though my papa doesn't have a lot of money, at least he has enough to send my whole family to America. We are packing very early in the morning for our big trip to America. I take a sack and put clothes and blankets in it. My sister helps me pack. When I see my mama pack, she is packing a sea door and a family cookbook and photos of my family and extended family. The expression on her face seems as if she is very scared for the journey ahead of us. Today, I'm taking a ferry to Southampton, England where my port will be to New York, America. When we leave on our boat, I see my grandparents waving and saying, Tushkas, which means bye in German. I have tears dripping down from my eye. The only thing I can do now is be positive about our trip to America. My papa told me we were going to Ellis Island and it will take about a week to get there. That seemed like a long time. I saw people go on to the nicer part of the boat. When I asked my parents why we aren't going in the nice part of the boat, they said that we were in third class and they are in first class. We are on our ship to America. It has been five days since we left. The boat is horrible. One, my brother got very sick. Two, the beds are lumpy. The food is disgusting and we never get to go on the top of the ship, so we haven't felt fresh air in five days. Lastly, we've had one very bad storm. Now, I can definitely see why my mama was very scared of our journey ahead of us. We are on our ship to America. Then we see land. I hear people screaming with excitement. When we pass by the Statue of Liberty, people start crying and say, Freedom, and applaud. When I see the Statue of Liberty, I'm a little confused why people are screaming with excitement at this green, tall lady. Then, my mama tells me that the Statue of Liberty represents freedom. We finally get to Ellis Island. There are police when we get off the boat. They lead us into a room and they take our bags and leave them there. I think this means that we will get them later. Then we head upstairs to a large room. Once we got upstairs, there were doctors that noted if we were short of breath and if we had lung problems. I felt bad for the people that did have lung problems and short of breath and eye diseases because they would have to go back to their home countries. After we were done with the medical exam, we went to a desk and people told us what our new names would be. My new name was going to be Ellen. We take a tiny boat to New York City and get there a few hours later. We go to our apartment and it is on the Lower East Side in New York City. It is very lovely. It feels much more like a home than our home in Germany did. I am very happy for my family. They all look grateful we are here in America. My parents say that they already have found jobs. My dad is going to work at a button factory, and my mom is going to work at a bakery. They also say me and my siblings are going to go to a local school with kids that are like us. So far, my life in America is turning out great. America is great. My family and I are so much more happy here. So far, I have made a few friends from my new school, and I have learned English. My family loves our apartment and hopes for many more extraordinary adventures in America.